Hey guys, it's Quentin here with Fandroid.com, standing with the ZTE Skate. It's a 4.3 inch Android device coming with Android 2.3 Gingerbread whenever it launches. Uh, I saw this at ZTE's press conference earlier today. They didn't have any exact dates or regions or prices to give out, um, but you can expect this one throughout Europe, and they're trying to make a, another push into the uh, U.S. market. We've already seen a couple phones from them in the form of uh, the Blade, I believe, from a few regional carriers, and I think maybe even T-Mobile. Uh, actually, no, T-Mobile doesn't. That's Huawei who has the device with them, but uh, they are trying to make a better, a bigger push into the U.S. market. Um, and I, I suppose this would be one of the devices that they do it with. Um, this one has an 800, 800 megahertz processor. Uh, I think it's the Adreno 205 GPU, so it's not the latest Qualcomm MSM architecture, but uh, and you can tell just by how it's not as fast as you would expect from a one or from a, a high-end phone. They they consider this a high-end phone, so a little bit a little bit disappointed in that regard, but uh, still pretty uh, decent. It has a five megapixel camera on the back um, with a flash, I believe that is, and I believe there's no front-facing camera, and uh, this is a full touch screen. And that's, that's pretty much going to be it. It's also a dual band phone, so you can use it anywhere in the world that has a GSM uh, network. And that's about it. Nothing really too special here. Not much pre-installed. Uh, you have a lot of games, actually, but not a lot of productivity apps. Uh, so if you're a big gamer, this will be perfect for you. But if not, uh, hopefully you can uninstall them whenever that time, whenever the device comes out and if you decide to get it. Uh, I assume it's just as easily rootable as all of the other GTV Android phones that have come out since uh, March of 2010. Uh, but this is the ZTE Skate, and uh, like I said, no carriers, no regions, no price yet. Uh, pretty decent phone, pretty uh, first, uh, a pretty decent first shot at the high-end market, but they're going to have to do a bit more in my opinion. And uh, thanks.